look, I'm, I'm Liz. I'm and Liz look. Van Every. Look, Denny, I brought you a present. Hey, guys! <laughs> I came back. Look at that. Oh, shoot, I was going to print you more papers. Well, that's all right, because we've got this one, this disgusting one that I printed myself. Good. Hopefully you can do your check marks this right is, this week. I'm homeschooled, by the way. Homely schooled. Yes. <laughs> Pull you up a... A chair? All right. okay. I will. Out there. All right. Oh, you're gonna make me cut out? Like, I don't know what's going on here. I got like glue. Yeah, but I brought right. scissors. I get glue. Well, that's money. The other many of the other things that I've had going on this morning. A customer came in and they're like, "Hey, can I get some of the glue that we use in the shop?" And I was like, "Do you got a container to put it in?" He's like, "Yeah, I got this little one." I was like, "Okay." Let me go get you some glue. So I went and got some glue, and evidently I got some on me. It's, it'll stay with you. See, even Tony pours glue. Yeah. We just do everything around here. Okie dokie. We're going to do more you know what cooling. I decided? This is the I'm worst thing I've ever number two. Hey, guys! <laughs> Welcome to Springfield Leather. We're going to do tooling in a novice sort. I'm going to do my second coaster ever in my whole life. I brought Liz. I brought Denny. Denny's going to teach me, and Liz is going to correct me, because that's what she does with everybody. We all love her for it, <laughs> not in spite of it. <laughs> is that better for you? Oh my God. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. You got to work at a carnival. <laughs> Who's you to really say that can. I don't? You can... <laughs> I ran away with a circus one time. <laughs> you found your way back, though. No, they ran off and left me. They are like, this guy's really? cute. This this clown's too much for the circus. Yeah, that's for sure. This clown has no suit. How's everybody doing? Everybody have a good month? Denny and I hadn't seen each other in like a month and a half. Yeah. This morning we had a good old catch up. I yeah, love catch up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of a mustard guy, but ketchup's not bad. <laughs> you yeah. Know, I, like I like to put ketchup in the container and then fill the middle with mustard and then do dip. Do you them. really? Mm -hmm. You know what we could do? Yeah. You kind of hydro dip your. Your hot dogs. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you cut your buns hot dog style or hamburger style? <laughs> <laughs> Those live shoppers know what's up right there. You know what we should do, Danny? Uh, uh I don't. Well, since we talked about how much better these are going to look antique than we didn't antique them. True. You know what we could do? Uh -uh. Antique them. We could have Liz antique them. Oh. We could put her to work. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you want, do you want to? It doesn't matter if she wants to. She's going to. I can do that. I, I could, I could. And what color do you like? I'm partial to Sheridan Brown right now. I am too, but I will. Red. If you want to do two different colors, you can. But Sheridan Brown's great with me. All right, Sheridan Brown it is. Okay. I'll be our. Did you sign yours? Uh yeah, I put it in my tooling somewhere. Actually, I signed yours instead of mine. <laughs> okay. Did you sign? You didn't even sign yours. No, I forgot to. Hmm. You gonna do it in a ballpoint pen? That would be silly. Uh, here, let's see me. Very silly. Gosh, I can't hardly tell which one is which. Um, you really can't. No, it's really close. I think, though, that this one's probably yours. So you should sign yours. You got a stylus? Oh, I got to do with a swivel knife? Where are you going to sign it at? On one side. That's good enough. You know what's great about having A.W. as my initials? They're all straight lines. It's all straight lines. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to start back with number one. I didn't print Denny out his thing. What co I thought we were going to do coaster number two, but it looks like you have thrown yeah, out let's coaster number, number four. Let's do number four. It's fantastic. More, it's quite interesting. We had... Oh, we go back up there for just a second. I was going to get us a little zoom number going on so we can... Forget about What'd you forget? Wing dividers. Well, I guess I'll just sit here by myself and talk about crazy days. Do that. So Do while that. Liz is off getting what she's getting, Sheridan Brown, and Denny's off getting wing dividers, I'm going to talk about the crazy days. If you haven't seen it yet, the new, the new video for today is out that includes starring myself. 
And let me just say, it's probably one of the best videos that we've ever done. And it's not because it includes me. It's probably because it was shot in 4K and it took 58 minutes to render. So thanks to Isaac for that little treat. Um, okay. This video is going to be in 4K. I oh, about it. okay. Isaac has an excuse. You did apply multiple effects to the video. That probably didn't help the case of the render time. We can't blend the it. audio is the audio is television style um, audio, and the effect on it is like a doorbell. So it's like me coming to your doorbell, being your um, uh, your door salesman. We're talking about garment cow, and what can you do with garment cow? So that's what happened. That's what happened at, oh, you know what, Liz is going to, I bet you Liz forgets the resist, and then she'll have to go again. But Denny's back. So we got Garment Cow today. We've got uh, five-pack belt strips as inch and a half, and then a five-pack of three inch and a half strips and two inch and a quarter strips, and then some natural rabbit for $5. I see Liz. I see that she has Sheridan. She has the, re she has... The paste in her hand, and she's got the shearling, but as Latigo pointed out, she's probably going to forget the other thing that she's going to need, and she did do that. She forgot it. Do you want me to get oil? You probably need a little oil, and you're probably going to need a little quick shine. Otherwise, our pieces of leather are going to be real dark. Looks like she's got quick... Looks like she hit her head, and also has quick shine. Why don't you wet your piece of leather? Oh. This is my big old ring dot cut. You say, wet my love and quit talking? Yep. Is that what you said? That's a good idea, but no, I didn't say that. It's eight minutes in. Bye, Omar. Okay, I'm cutting out number four. Number four. Up in the corner. How close do I need to cut do you want? As close as possible, but if you aren't perfect, you aren't perfect. I've never had anybody are. say that to me before. If? You yeah. mean? Yeah. Then I'm not perfect. I didn't say you weren't. I said if you are. Okay. It's never been so a question in my mind before make, now. Yeah, you make up your own mind. Don't okay. Your own decision. I'll okay. live in my own little world. Then you want to mark your border and cut it. As in. Step number two, cut it. Drop my little swivel knife. Oh, you know. <laughs> <sighs> a bummer. I thought we fixed that. Battery dead? Okay. That's perfect. There's a battery on the table. What are you guys seeing right now? Anything? Oh, they're watching me. That's good. They're in for disappointment. Oh, and I got one leg of my wing divider no longer longer than the other one. So you use this one then. Oh, okay, fantastic. If you're so indecisive about things. Dang, your border's not quite what the border is on. Close enough. All right. All that matters is if you're close enough. Horseshoes, hand grenades, and feeling weather. <laughs> Especially when it's your border. I'm going to Trace my pad. Strong, Justin. Well, Denny, I assume you already talked all about your trip. Did you regale them with the wonders? Up the canyon. Yes, we regaled a little bit. Did you have any wonders that were left? I don't know. That you did not regale? I'm trying to think of 
Did you tell them about the tiny people? <laughs> yeah, I was telling Liz we were <laughs> up on this canyon wall, and we were looking down in the bottom of the canyon and onto the valley floor, and there were all these very little Native Americans down there hoeing corn, living in their little hoguns. They were very small people. The houses were small, too. I mean, tiny. And like you should have seen those small. corn ears. <laughs> you should have seen corn ears. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure they got bigger if you got closer. Well, I, yeah, but we didn't go closer. They didn't want you to could, fall off the top of the mountain. You could take jeep trips down into the bottom of the canyon. We didn't want to do that. Were they very expensive? I don't know. We oh, didn't you didn't even get price, that far? We didn't even price them. Because uh-uh. it was... It was neat. Do you guys see anybody close up when you're on vacation? Each other. Oh, yeah. We see a lot of people. I saw John John. John John? John John. He got him a feather. Yeah. She painted him a feather. And I forget that lady's name who made your beads, but she's a real person. (laughs) We saw her, and we saw her daughter, too. She's a real person. Yeah. She's a real girl. We saw a lot of people. Well, that's good. And uh, there, who was it? I was going to say Dick and Jane. We met them in Raton at the laundromat. <laughs> Just some people. You know, when you're on an extended trip, you have to go in a, in a camper. You have to go to the laundromat on occasion. Yeah. And Raton has one of the nastiest laundromats in the world. <laughs> the one and only one in town. And Raton's a pretty good sized town. Oh yeah. There's probably. Seven or eight thousand people there. It needs more than one, one laundry mat, especially one because it has a whole row of dryers and one of them work. It has two rows of washing machines. And one of them or two of them kind of work, and it has a line of people. Listen, you go tell this laundromat guy down here that he needs to open a location over there. They should. They should. Uh, I. Why don't I do that? Because you're not go, allowed to leave. Go to Raton, New Mexico, <laughs> and open a laundromat. I think that would be my calling. <laughs> it's not really as nice as I let on. What's this line? <laughs> what line? Oh, this one right here. That's part of this pedal. The inside of this pedal. Okay. I was just making sure I wasn't confused. You're confused, all right. Yeah. Let me see. What else did we do? I went fishing, caught a bunch of fish. Did you eat them? Some of them. Some of them we froze, even. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we have a little freezer in our camper. It's about this big. You keep it empty until you stack it up with some fish? Yeah, it's full of that. <laughs> Hopefully it's no longer in your camper. No, it is, because we leave the refrigerator running full time. Yeah. Because at home, we just plug it in. Oh, okay. You know, when you when you... If you're at a campground or something that has electricity, you can just plug in and run anything you want to. Nice. But if you're not, right, you got to depend on your battery. But we have a little solar panel too, hundred watt solar panel, and if we don't overdo it, we can charge our battery the next day. Hey. If the sun's out. Right. right. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. It's pretty neat. I'm glad you had you had some. Trouble getting going. We did. I didn't know <laughs> if we were ever going to get going. But we finally did. Ooh, but Dandy says that you can stop by Albuquerque and he'll buy you a burrito. Wow. We. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I love burritos. I love a burrito too. We did have some really I'm more of a taco fan. We really did have some good Mexican food. Did you you find some good hole in the walls? 
or trucks. It was kind of a hole in the wall. It was a kind of a in a small town. I think it was called Cuba, New Mexico. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember. But I think it was Cuba, and it was just a little family restaurant deal, but it was Mexican. Mm-hmm. And man, it was good. I even bought a thing of their salsa. Oh. Good stuff. You didn't bring any back. Nice. Yes, I did. I did, just not to SLC. I might bring a little bit to one. He knows how to buy our love. I do love. Sometimes I'll go, there's the iHeart Taco Truck here, and I guess maybe their physical, I assume their physical location also has it, but their salsa is amazing. And I would take a quart jar and I'd be like, can you fill this up for me? And they, it was like eight bucks for a quart of salsa. Yeah, it's the best, and it's the best, like, it's amazing. I love it so much. I haven't done that in a while, but I did that on a pretty regular basis. Every time we'd go and get a haircut out at Adams, because uh-huh. their taco truck is out by the airport. Yeah. So we'd go to Adams, and then we'd, because uh, he's in Willard, and then we'd hit the the highway and pop back by the taco truck, and I'd be like, can you fill up my... My salsa <laughs> container, please. <laughs> I'm sure for eight bucks we can do it. Yeah. I made some pretty good tacos while I was in Vegas. I cooked more than I've cooked all year. Oh, you've been hauled around on the couch. I, I was. <laughs> Chris was like, come out and hang out with us in the shop. And I was like, but I want to sit <laughs> and do nothing. And so Tony, not, not my good friend right here, but my good friend Tony in Vegas, he had found... I don't know, it's the shop couch now, but I think he just found it on the side of the road somewhere. Anyways, and brought it home. But it was like a like a love seat size. And so he has a pallet jack. And so he took it from one of his garages into his 14 garage. And then I was just able to sit there with my little fur friends that he was watching for the day. And we just had a night. It was <laughs> yeah. a little fur friend. Yep. Oh, we went to uh, a place. It was a like a ghost town in New Mexico, only you couldn't go to the town. All you could do is go to the cemetery. But it was a coal mine, and I'll tell you the story. Am I drawing this little V thing on here? No, no that's just to that's your stem. let you know it's your stem. Thank you. Got you. <laughs> but anyway, Dawson, New Mexico was a coal mine, and I believe it was the year 1913. They had an explosion in the coal mine that killed like 260 people. Whoa. Are you looking it up? I know the story. Okay. Yeah. And and then in again in 19, I think it was 1926, they had another explosion that killed a hundred and some. So there was like close to 400 people from this mine that were buried in the cemetery. Yeah. And after the second explosion they decided they would not mind coal there anymore. I, they probably couldn't get that. anyone to go to work. <laughs> well they won't let you go to the town. No, because it's private property. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely posted. Yeah. But on the way in there it's on this little dirt road. You've got to drive about five miles on this dirt road. And it follows this little creek bed. It's pretty curvy, isn't it? It's pretty curvy. Yeah. It, it's not, it really, it's not too bad. You can't go very fast on it anyway because yeah. it's a washboarding. But we started to see an elk in this little creek bottom. Oh, You'd, yeah. You would love it. <laughs> but I bet, I bet we saw 300 elk. Every, every few feet we would go, there, there'd be another batch of elk. And there were these big bulls and they were bugling and whistling all over the place. I mean, yes, yeah, it was crazy. How are you doing, Tony boy? Well, I sent my flowers. I got you were just jabbering on, so I just moved on with that. You there. did well. Yeah, just go it up. Cut it out. Cut it all out. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna start with my flower petals. Like the tiny That's buffalo. That's a good idea. What? The drunken buffalo. <laughs> they showed me that yesterday. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. No, really, the only I. I don't play New York. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. Pay attention to anything. I did see the crazy 
Yeah, that video. That was cute. I enjoyed that. I saw that before Tony because he was out sick that week. And I texted him and I was like, that's a really fun video. I wasn't out sick. I was just out. Oh, he was just out. I didn't want to work. He, he was just taking taking a breather. Yeah. And uh, and he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, I know something you don't know. Didn't miss one line. Wrong lines. Are you going to filigree one of the coasters? I can barely tool a coaster. What do you mean I'm going to filigree one? <laughs> Bill agrees that we're not going to do that. <laughs> no, that's a will agree. Will agree. That oh, right. nice. mm -hmm. There you go. I mean, I guess we can. That just takes away from the backgrounding. Maybe we should do it. We haven't done any filigree in a while. I know. That'd we could put that on the schedule. That would be good. Um. So next week we'll be getting back to some projects. Denny has his sweetheart purse, as we named it today, uh, that he is working on. So we'll start that next Wednesday. Um, do one, and then we'll do trading cards, and then we'll come back to it the week after. Oh, yeah. We're getting to the trading end of the month already. Coming. It's been a long time, you guys. I forget, <laughs> I forget what we do here. That's okay. That's why you've got me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so, we'll do that. Just letting all of this dry naturally since there's no rush on my antiquing. Maybe we'll get a really good, we'll get a really good antique this time. It won't be, it won't be funky. Maybe. No one likes a funky antique. Nobody likes a funky antique. When we were at uh, we went to the Petrified Forest in Arizona. Did you steal anything? No. No, he's they, laying into it. They not only throw you in jail, but after you're in jail, they stab you and hang you. Wow. They, they're they serious. That's like, that's sick. They stab you and hang you. They stab you and? First, they'll stab you. Is that what the signs say? You. No, but they pretty much imply that. So, like, as you're walking around, were you like, no, Mary June, no, Mary June, no, Mary June? <laughs> Actually... She was even kind of worried. We, <laughs> you know, you drive through these these national parks or monuments or whatever, mm -hmm. and they have these pullouts where you can see stuff. And this one pullout was there was a trail that you could take from there. It goes off through all the petrified wood, big logs, you know, mm -hmm. laying there in big chunks of petrified wood, and a hundred people. Fifty yards down the road, there's a park ranger parked. With binoculars. Wow. It's like a speed trap. And a but big a, knife. But a petrified big knife in a rope. Yes. <laughs> he, he knew he was going to catch someone picking up a rock. Wow. It's like keep your hands in your pockets. Yeah. Yeah. We look it's with like, our eyes. It's like going to Walmart. We look with our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're serious. Yeah. But... It was it was really neat. There's this one log. This is a piece of petrified wood, a piece of rock that's laying across this ditch. Okay. It's there's a void underneath it. It's just this big rock laying across this ditch. It it's amazing. Did but, you take a picture of that? Um, I don't think I got a picture of that one. I had a lot of pictures. We we showed a lot of pictures okay. last night. Didn't we? No, you just you. Oh, I, I just showed them to you. I'm not a very good photographer. <laughs> if you hadn't guessed <laughs> already. <laughs> but to, what was I going to? Oh yeah, the petrified forest is part of the painted desert. Okay. And the painted desert is beautiful. 
beautiful. I mean, it stretches forever. You're up on this high part, and you can see forever, and it's all these red and purple and green and blue. It's <clears throat> kind of like uh, Badlands, you know, just a bunch of stuff that's been eroded by by the weather. But it's th so many different colors that you just can't imagine it. Well, no wonder you didn't come to Vegas where all the fake colors are. I know. All the fake colors. <laughs> yeah, but it was... We it, have not finished the Lego Man. No. Is that still... People still thinking about that? I <laughs> got... Tom says hi. Tom Kilcullen? Mm hmm Ah, oh, hi, Tom. I got correspondence from Tom the other day. Oh, yeah? I love to hear from you, Tom. I I appreciate it, and I will look at everything you tell me to. Did he write us another song? He wrote us a, a ditty for Christmas. One of these what? days we'll have to get, like, Joe or somebody or Alex to make music to it. We'll do a little, like, Johnny Cash thing where we just yeah. do, like, a little bass, and then you can just... Say the little song. Say, Johnny Cash. Say the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just do some song speak. What's that called? Let me do music. Song speak. I'm going to do a little song speak here for you. Where you speak a song. Let's see where you get that. I do have the Lockwood song. Alex, gave, it me the, Alex gave me the okay to send it, send it on. Alive. Hey Garrett, I am alive. Didn't didn't do too much for three weeks. Finished a couple shows. Got some sunshine. Did some leather work because I did a sheath demonstration at a hammer in. If anybody's out in Las Vegas and wants to just come check out a hammer in, you're welcome to do that if you're interested in knife or leather work. How often do they have those? Uh, Tony has some, like, group things that he does. Um, if you look up, like, the Las Vegas Knife Maker something on Facebook, he'll post about it. Um, so every couple months he'll host, uh, it's not a full hammer in, but it's just kind of like a, a fun day of doing knife-related stuff. And then every year, um, at the, maybe, like, the around the first weekend of November, He's been, well, the last two years. This is just two years. So he's been hosting a hammer in. It was really cool. We actually, we had uh, Devin Thomas there this year, which is kind of the godfather of stainless steel Damascus, which is a very hard thing to do because stainless doesn't like to weld to other steels. Um, and so he kind of pioneered doing stainless steel Damascus and he was there and did a couple lectures about different, like, the one that I was able to listen to was uh, the different phases of steel. So like your heat treat methods and how to make sure that you're getting the, the right phase of steel that you want when you're done with, you know, whatever processes you're doing. And it was fascinating. I don't really get into the metal. Like I'm like, I'm like Chris does his thing and he makes knives and I'm very happy for him to do that, but I don't pay attention to a lot of it. Uh, but his lecture was really interesting. So that was really neat. Made you want to make some stainless steel Damascus? No. Mm -mm, no. It sure didn't. Do you just like to hear about it? Yeah, well, and that wasn't even, he was just talking about heat treating. And so, like, he was literally just, like, talking about the phases that steel goes through. Um, and, like, the chemical structure of each phase. And, like, with some of the phases of annealing, you'll get brittle because the carbon structure it's really dense or it anyways very technical you want to know what's tough very scientific swivel knifing when somebody's beveling right next to you <laughs> when you suck at swivel knifing what should i stop <laughs> no I, I just have excuses now for why this one's gonna look poor no, with that a little bit don't tell me what to do yeah it's really cool. oh okay it was a question what did you guys do request. for three weeks while i was gone i don't even know what happened well we didn't have videos for a while <laughs> and then Denny came back, and this is what the video was. I told you go back and watch them, and it's basically this. It's like, will you stop what you're doing? No, you stop what you're doing. I'm going to check that off. 
<laughs> it was that. I think that you did on the fly. Um, it's it's called a frog style sheath. So it's a vertical carry frog. I've never carried a frog even up. horizontally. I should look. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get to it. Just like point his head forward, and you're just walking with your frog. Then you can turn a vertical and put point his nose up. Okay, and you just give up, just, Tony? Just a thought, Tony. You probably just start cutting it. <laughs> it's just a thought. Huh? I don't think Tony's going to get anything done today. I don't even... I'm not even sure what's happening. Here. Antiquing. A shirt and brown. When it's, like, when you're putting on the leather, it looks weird. Hey, can you, uh, grab some paper towels? I'm busy swimming. You're my not head. busy doing anything at all. I've never seen you less busy. <laughs> I mean, my, I'm propped up with my chin <laughs> on my hands, and that's not busy. Mm. Somebody's got to hold this piece of granite down. It's about to take off. Hey, can I see your belly in just a second? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't want me to use it. Yeah, let me put that in my pocket. <laughs> you go ahead. You know. No, you can. No, no, I don't even want to. <laughs> it's too late. It's already been. Project's already messed up. I ruined it. Yeah. You can fix anything with Beverly. That's what he told me. He said, your Beverly's going to look so much better when you start backgrounding. And it did, too. Oh, yeah. It's getting ready to look amazing as soon as Liz gets done. Yeah. Doing her job. I'll tell you what really helps it is antique. <laughs> <laughs> if, if your backgrounding doesn't fix your Beverly, the next step to fixing it is antiquing yeah. it. Yeah. The heck out of it, and don't wipe very much of it off. <laughs> yeah, they saying wipe less off of mine. You don't tell me how to do any of this shit. I'm just flying solo here. Well, there, what you is just doing the same thing you did last week? Just doing it again. Every line that you trace, you have to cut. How's that for instruction? We haven't got to the hard part yet. What part's that? Beveling? Yeah. I've tried to repeat it multiple times over here. What did I do here? Where? What did I do here? That's just uh, two little lines that you cut. That's a okay. That this supposed to be trying. That's this. Okay, fantastic. Part of the line. They're pretty good at my resisting. That that goes. Up. Goes underneath that. Do I need to be not like? Mm -hmm. It's too late now. Once That's done, right. is done. That's right. I still do not know how close to the beveling one gets the backgrounding to. As close as you can get without going over. There was oh, a question. There was a question on on Facebook, not our group, but a different group. They had they came. They had a point that kind of came together, where mm -hmm. beveled on both sides. You know what my answer was going to be? Bevel the background. Bevel towards the background. That's it. That's what, correct. Look at, that, look at that guy looking in there. What? Do, do you want to add to the shenanigans that is right now? Shenanigans that is right now. That's what does what? that mean? The shenanigans are. It's gonna. Day. It's gonna don't carry. You know, it's. <laughs> don't you know, Liz? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it starts at like seven for Did me, and then ends at five. But. Did you see Tony in the final. Oh, I see Tony in the final. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, now you've given away all the things that are going to come out later today. <laughs> See, I haven't. Know, I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, you missed the pineapple. I envy you because that's a picture that you'll never get out of your head. <laughs> Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Loni, you're doing pacing around the room. She knows. She knows tooling is imminent, uh, and she's nervous about it. Oh, oh the, she doesn't appreciate the tooling. Yeah, she's not a fan. 
Yeah. yeah. Tell me he's taking this the only one. Ah, the basic. Yeah. The basic Jenny Lowe. Yeah. Yes. Then we need to get some tools, some Zaner, some 715s that goes in the Denny Lowe beginner tooling set. Yeah. Can you call somebody about that? All of you. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for visiting. <laughs> That's about as much as he likes to stay in here anymore. He said something the last time under his breath about, you're awful mouthy. I think that's what he said. I said, yes, so. <laughs> Gave him a little lip right back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Two coasters antiqued. After a few years, people really start to understand me. They just start to ignore you. Um, <laughs> I knew it was one of the two. <laughs> Ugh. Dang, my beveling looks awesome. Oh, that's Denny's. Oh, yeah. What? What? It's so an pretty good. So if the antique doesn't fix your beveling, what's the next step to fix it? That one's Denny's. Well, fire. Oh, look! Look! Look how good it is. You look at somebody else's work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell them. Tell them someone else did it. That's the next step. Yeah, I was trying to bevel as Denny was shaking the table. That's what happened. <laughs> it looks pretty good, though. That's For number great. one, it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. That's all that matters, Tony, as long as you're happy. Yeah, it doesn't really yes, matter. Yes, we are. Our life is making you happy. That's what we are here for. What's done is done. I cut that one off. <laughs> Isaac comes over to judge. <laughs> Where's your tooling at, Isaac? Oh yeah, you just used a stamp. Thanks for visiting. Okay. So Mike Michael is is trying to get some leather information out of us somehow. Um so he said for a fine tuned answer on that, if a if I use a Sheridan style beveler versus a standard beveler, the amount of leather beveled will be different. Is it at the start of the slope or do you background the slope away? Okay. You background like as close as you can get to the cut line. Yes. And the, the main thing with a, with a Sheridan style beveler is, and that's a mis, misconception. It's a beveler that's steeper than a, a regular old, old flat beveler. Because you can use it in... Go, you just go right ahead. You can use it in any, in any style of beveling. But as the steeper the beveler is, the less that it's... If you've got a lot of lines that are coming together, it won't lay them flatten out the ones you've already done nearly as bad. Right. And, and then you can get it a little sharper... More crisp impression. Yeah, so like if if you're looking at Denny's coaster here, he is backgrounding. Sorry, all the way up to the element. Like he he's not stopping his background at any point before the line. Like he's backgrounding into the bevel. There so, again. so you don't, see, you've got like your bevel line down. happening here, look, look. right? And then when it comes out here, you're just you're backgrounding this entire area. So the bevel separates your elements. What I'm seeing looks good. Yeah, I can do straight lines. The straight lines are not really the problem. It's when we start the curve. You just add them around. Don't don't try and go too far. <laughs> There again, remember the short strokes. Yeah, short stroke it. I remember that part. Like a two-cylinder. That's a two-stroke, two not a short stroke. <laughs> but that's, Wait, that's, sorry, that's my weed eater. That's mixed gas. It really has <laughs> nothing to do with the cylinder. There's probably just one. But that's a different type of machining. Not tool machine. You guys want to talk about 
two-stroke motors. You can do that too. Luna's back. Luna's back. Oh, Justin, I probably didn't turn on Firebot. Did I tell you last week that my refrigerator's messed up? You did tell me my that. My brand new one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did tell me that. The repairman came out. Have that go. My refrigerator's messed up. <laughs> Are they going to replace? He it? sounds real educated. <laughs> he was. Yeah. No, he said it was making this really horrendous sound. It sounded like a machine gun. <laughs> I mean, seriously, about like that only loud. All right. We called Frigidaire, and I'm I don't care. I'm not too fond of them right now. <laughs> But they said, okay, here's a number to the warranty people who are in Joplin. A town the size of Springfield in the warranty department in Joplin. I called them and they said, okay, yeah, we'll get someone out there. And I said, uh, when can I expect that? And they said, well, I really don't know, probably sometime next week or maybe a little later. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. <laughs> <laughs> and Denny's eyebrows went into his hairline. And, <laughs> yes, and that vein on my forehead was going bon, bon. And I said, what do I do with all this food that's in the refrigerator? And this lady on the phone who was just, all her job was answering the phone. I yeah. Guess, she said, just leave it plugged in. Leave it running. Don't unplug it. And I said, this is waking the neighbors up down the street. He said, well, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. I said, you can't get anyone out here any sooner than that? Yeah. He said, nope. So that was the end of that conversation. This has been two weeks now. Okay. So your fridge still sounds like a machine it's, gun? It started doing it the night we got back from vacation. So. Uh, that you know. Yes, that we that I know. I could have been doing it yes. the whole time you were gone. Yes, but anyway, the refrigerator repairman finally got out there yesterday. And, of course, it didn't make any noise. It decided it was going to run mm -hmm. smooth. And he said, well, there's really nothing I can do. And I said, man, there's something wrong with this thing. Is Firebuck turned on? Okay. So he, he, he said, well, your floor is probably not level. He said, watch this. And he pushed on one... And he weighed 400 pounds. He pushed on one top corner of it, and it started going. And he said, see, that's what did it. And I said, but it's not doing it now. And he said, well, he said, that's that's your problem. And then all of a sudden, it started doing it. So I was, I was very well vindicated about that. <laughs> but he said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, anything you can do? And he said, well, let me, he said, let's take all this stuff out of the freezer. So we got a box and a basket and took everything out of the freezer. And he banged around and whacked around and finally got this panel off. And he said, ah, there's your problem. And he stuck a screwdriver in there. And these pieces of plastic started flying out of the refrigerator. And I said, what is that? And he said, oh, it's just an ice buildup. And I thought, black eyes. <laughs> But it was black, and finally he got done, and he said, oh, he said, that is part of your fan. <laughs> what? He said, what the deal is here, where your water's coming in for your ice maker is leaking, and it's leaking down there, and it's causing this ice dam deal right against your fan, and that's what's making all the noise. Awesome. I and I said, I said, well, fans, <laughs> 
Bam's not going to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. And he said, uh, he said, you can still run it. He said, it'll start making noise when we get it going again. But uh, that's all right. He said, just go ahead and run it. I said, he said, I'll get the parts for it. And I said, how long do you think that'll be? He said, oh, a week or so. So anyway, our refrigerator is sitting there going, Durr. <laughs> so we plug, we let it run for a, a few hours, as long as we can stand it, and then we unplug it. And at night we unplug it and then plug it back in in the morning. Oh my gosh. So that's, that's our refrigerator saga. <laughs> I just thought I'd tell you guys about that. I thought you might be interested. Yeah, and if we weren't, doesn't matter. We heard it anyway. Yeah, we heard it anyway. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> heard it here first. first. Okay, I'll just babble then. Yeah, I'm going ahead and following the directions and marking my background areas. I noticed that you didn't do that. You're right. Denny's ad more advanced than that. Oh! <laughs> Fair point. Well, He made the pattern. He knows about the background. The pattern, I know where the background area is. Guys, since we've got two lefties on on the bench, we can't we we can't have a front camera because it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Two lefties don't make a right. <laughs> Denny was telling me that it's good that he was set up like this, him and Tony, because then both of their arms would be on the same, you know, like it, they wouldn't be hitting each other's elbows. And I said, Denny, I don't think it matters which side you guys sit on; it'll be the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had fun with that. If I sit on that side of you, though, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad, because I'll be bumping your your uh, beveling arm. If I sit on that side of you, well, I don't bump yours. That's because I turn funny. But I was told earlier that I hold my tool funny. So, <laughs> okay, we won't go any further with that. <laughs> <laughs> Not what tool I was talking about. <laughs> Yeah, so our ice we and Liz's gonna try to bring this back. This is where the this is where we've been while you were gone, Liz. If you want to know what videos were like, there's a if you want to know how this room was like, this is it. I'm sorry, guys. Actually, last week I thought YouTube was gonna ban us. <laughs> I think Tony texted me that. <laughs> That you might want to watch the videos. I'm not sure that we're going to need to do any more video schedule for a while. I remember when this was a family show. <laughs> when was that? I just... It's too late. That's because you're new. Like the Adams family. No, so we, we bought a Samsung fridge. Like when we bought our house, that was the only appliance that it didn't come with was a refrigerator. And so we went out and we bought a fridge. Like we went to Metro Appliance, I think, up north, and um, they had a scratch and dent Samsung for a, a good deal. It just had like one dent in the, the freezer drawer on the bottom. Uh -huh. And um, perfect. Like it saved us like $800 because a dent in the thing. That's great. And uh, the ice maker has never worked well, and it has ice and water in the door. It's a French door bottom freezer style refrigerator. And, um, and so like Chris started looking it up a few months ago, cause we've just been like, there's like this defrost mode that you can run, but like it beeps the whole time it's in defrost mode because, because the ice box is in the refrigerator, it can't keep itself the right temperature and there's too much humidity, right? So it's like fighting the refrigerator temperature cause it needs to be colder Anyways, we, we found this YouTube guy, and he's just like, when you buy a fridge, he's like, do not get water in the door. Do not get ice in the top. Like, if you have to have ice makers, get it in the freezer, in the, like, whatever, because, like, that will never work correctly because the humidity in the refrigerator is too high for ice or, like, for a freezer situation, and it's constantly fighting the temperature because it needs to be colder. So it's never going to work properly. Like, you're just constantly going to have issues. And so he's like, get the most basic refrigerator you can get. Get two of them. Put them side by side. Like, have like a double, like if you want the French door, cool. Get two refrigerators, put them side by side. Have a double one. And like, I will only ever get a freezer on the bottom because I refuse to sit on the floor to get into my cheese drawers. <laughs> I just won't do it. I refuse. Have you seen the old school? Yeah. 
So in any case, we learned next, we, I mean, we just, I bought an ice maker. Like I bought a separate ice maker. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's fine. And it, and it works great. And Chris has ice now and he's happy. I guess we could have made ice with like ice trays, but we never did that either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's too much trouble when you got all these modern conveniences. Yeah. Who wants to fill ice trays? But in any case, next time we'll buy a basic fridge. Not anything fancy. It'll be. Well, we were hoping we wouldn't have to have it next time. Well, maybe if this one. Well, I guess they're going to replace the stupid fan. Gonna have what to. What I hear. <laughs> it, the At fan, that point, uh, I'd be like, gotta, "Can I just?" You got to replace the motor and a fan, and then whatever you got to do to fix the, the part that's leaking, and uh, what else? Oh, a new filter. Oh, I don't. I kept calling people saying, "What can I do about these guys? I can't get them out there." And they said, "Well, you can have it fixed yourself." You know, and I thought, "Yeah, we could call someone," but then. No one's going to pay for it but me. Yeah. You know? Plus, if I had called someone else, they probably wouldn't have stuck a screwdriver in the fan while it was around. Good gracious. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Is that just ice? <laughs> and he's, oh, yeah, that is part of the fan. <laughs> he says, so far, I've learned from this stream. Bring a washboard on road trips and get an ice box from 1900. <laughs> <laughs> that is right, Nick. That is what you have learned. Congratulations. You can become an adult now. That's what you do. Thanks. Well, I'm missing. Oh, you're missing. Okay. What are you doing, Tony? Oh, just beveling away. Have you got any questions for me at this point? <laughs> um, at what point does my beveling look better? After lots of practice. Actually, it's looking good. I ain't too... That, that, that does look a lot better than the other. I don't see all those little chop marks. I ain't too pissed about this one. Yeah, because before, like, your actual bevel may be slightly choppy, but at least you're not a choppy line. Because it was a choppy line over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to judge you. And I'm going to bring my judgments to you. And the thing about beveling, if you get a choppy line, go back over it and unchop it. So it looks like I made a cut. Mm -mm. Is this supposed to be like that? Yeah. Oh, maybe not quite as much as what yours is. Well, that's all right. You me just bevel that I back. was telling, I can't cut a pattern the same way twice. You may bevel it like that, though? Yes, bevel, huh? yes. I want my stem down. Got any questions? No. Okay. You got any judgments? <laughs> questions or judgments? Kind of folding the tool really hard so you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did some sample tooling this week so I could show people like how to antique or just like a quick basket weave for a knife sheath or whatever. And I would catch myself like hammer style and then be like, nope, got to hold it at the side and try to do the tap. Like I consciously would be like, oh, I'm hammering and like have to turn my arm so that I was rocking. Yeah, It's hard. Well, you know, when you're doing like a set stamp, like a basket weave or, or a geometric mm -hmm. stamp, a lot of times you have to use it kind of like yeah. a hammer just to get enough enough force on it. But but like this, it's so much better if you just yeah. use your wrist. But I'm so proud that you realized that. I was. I was <laughs> noticing how I was holding my tools. I did have a really awkward tooling station, though, because I couldn't really tool inside the shop because everybody was doing their demos in the shop. And uh, so I had just like a metal and glass, like pool side table that I put a piece of granite on. Okay. And then the granite wasn't super smooth because he only had like small pieces and they had a little bit of contour. To the top. <laughs> so I just like found the smoothest spot on the little thing. And then it was like, 
I was like sitting in a lawn chair, like a pool chair, like here. I, it was awkward. I made I made it work. It was fine. What do I got? What do I have going on here? You yeah. have. Is that okay. part of it? Yes, that's part of it. Is that part of a leaf? Or this that part right here. Yes, that's part of. This that's is part of a leaf. That's, okay. The rest of it's hidden underneath this flower. So I'm going to bevel that. Bevel, bevel that. Then bevel this on the correct side. And you will be correct. If you do everything perfect, you will be right. Perfect. All right, but you only have to be perfect for three more minutes. Even better. The old basket. I almost feel like this could be a hat. Like one of those old style. Oh, like. <laughs> it looks pretty cute. Right? Yeah. Totally. I've been I've been watching the Gilded Age on HBO, which is like like late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds, like New York with all those ladies and their outfits. And I told Chris the other night, I was like, I don't want to wear those outfits, but I want to walk into my closet and have all of them and have the option to wear all of those outfits. Cause like those dresses are so beautiful. And like the fabrics that like perfectly match with like the geometric patterns and then the hats that go with it. And just like, there's so much fabric that like, what do you even do and how do you move and how are you in? Like, I just don't understand. And then, like, when you see the shoes from that era, like, those people's feet were so tiny. And then, like, I was like, I don't I don't think I could ever fit my foot in one of those shoes. Like, I don't think they go up to a size 9. I don't think that was a shoe size that people used to have feet for. I don't Men think they did. cared. They just shoved their toes to the end and yeah. they bled. Um, probably. Like, seriously, like, I don't, like, I never want to put a corset on in my whole life. I like to breathe. It's nice. <laughs> But I want the dresses. I just want them. You want to have them. <laughs> you want to have them. They're so beautiful. <laughs> like, like when you have to have another person clothe you because, like, you're just like buttoned into this thing that probably takes you a half an hour to put on. Have you ever asked Chris to dress you? No. Do you dress each other? Well, that's every day for us because Chris is like, he looks at his closet and he's like, Liz, what do I wear? <laughs> Gym shorts and a tank top. Well, me right now. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. What was happening? Why are you videoing? <laughs> He's starting to cuff, Denny. Uh, don't we have to? Can you download these coasters? Yeah, Justin put them on the last video, I believe. Okay. And I'll put them. We'll get them. We'll get them on here. I, I need to get them on. Um. Something else. 
after where you can find them on the website easier. Did we ever do a culture? Um, I know I flopped it out. I just need to flop it a little bit. No, that was a really simple little design that Tony did, which was cool, but it wasn't. I think your flower looks good. All right. Jenny, did we ever do your round coaster holder? The fancy one that you put, like, the tacks in? No. Did we ever do that? I don't think so. We could do that. It's been a... It has, yeah. like, a stacked bottom. It's real nice. It's... Yeah. It okay. had a wooden bottom, actually. Okay. But, but it doesn't even need that. But it could. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. We have to put that on the list. Michael, there's no, like, every knife... Every knife sheath Liz has made does not have a pattern because they are all custom designed knife. around the custom knife yeah. that he is using. Yeah, I, I haven't really made any, like, sheaths for a knife that you can go buy, like any production-style knife. So every every sheath that I do is a custom, and I kind of talk about in, in the very first video how I design or, or look at it. But So in the past, we did a single-loop holster, which Denny showed how to make a pattern for the gun that he was using and how you could use it to make the pattern for a gun that you might be using. And I think in one of the videos, Liz even talked about how to make the sheath and how much allowance to leave so that you could make a sheath for any knife that you might come across. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Create Create your own Discord deals. What are I don't know what Discord deals. I don't know. What are we selling? I don't know. Garrett, what are we selling? All right, my okay. mom's gonna come and take me to lunch. Why are you fancy? I don't know about fancy, but I will not be hungry. All right. Uh, I don't know what happened today. Things. It was you guys learned life lessons. And, and I tool the flower. <laughs> so we'll, got... be back, we'll be back on Friday for more of that. Give it all away. <laughs> I should switch these. All yeah. that talking that Denny did, and he still beveled way more than you did. <laughs> Dear, Liz, <laughs> Dear Liz, I hope you have a great vacation that you're getting ready to take. <laughs> Do you want me to go again? I'll go. You want to go? I'll go right now. <laughs> All right. We'll be back again on Friday to finish this up. I'm probably going to do some beveling off camera because I got a lot of beveling to do and I'm slow at it. And it'll be less time for Liz to be able to judge me because I'll go to Denny's table and do it. So we're coming back Friday? To do this. To do this. Yep. We're not going to do anything. have some leather information. Are you doing that. anything tomorrow? When are you doing cabs? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we're going to do cabs. Look out for posts for it. Uh, Cyber Monday for live shopping will be the next live shopping event. And we're going to be on a Twitch after party in just a few minutes. Cool. Bye. Bye, guys.